Hi guys, how's everybody doing? It's Christmas Eve. Hi fam. How are you guys doing? You can pop some of your questions here. I will definitely answer them. You too, Jody Pillay. Have a lovely Christmas. It's been a long week, guys. Long week. Thank you, Neil Singh. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you. Yes, Christmas Eve was killed. Define 2020 in one word. Good place to start. Uh, I would say what word could I use to define 2020? Very interesting. Could say challenging, could say life changing. Um, yo, never thought of it. Eh? But I would say life changing eh? because I think in 2020, a lot of things in my life I've been able to fine tune to get where I need to be guys right now which is right now yes we had 0% drawdown today it was a good day good way to end the week after we had some challenging trades uh, this week guys so you know one of the reasons why I've come on this live today, it's after a long, long time. It's because, you know, this Christmas is very different for a lot of us. I think for everybody, uh, this Christmas will be different. This, uh, yes, unique. Another good word for 2020 is unique. Uh, yeah, but this Christmas and New Year will be very different for many, many. I know personally, uh, for me, it will be different uh, because we have lost some loved ones, friends. Uh, we have lost some relatives. Um, and it will be different in that sense. But also in the sense where, you know, usually when uh, in the Christ Christmas mood and the festive mood, we, we tend to, you know, we are free. We tend to, to go wherever we want. We don't care about spending money. We don't care about breaking the bank, uh, uh, nothing of that. But, right, this year everything will be different because number one, we are limited, a lot of us are limited by finances and financial situation. A lot of us are limited with going out because of certain restrictions. And then a lot of us also uh, are limited in our mindsets now because, you know, usually, um, uh, we all on amped up and on a level because we know okay it's Christmas it's a happy spirit but uh, right now the mind is obviously thinking otherwise and it doesn't even feel like Christmas like today it never even felt like Christmas for me and uh, you know it's it's a very very strange thing I think it's the first time in uh, in in most people's um, lives that we are faced with this situation because guys, uh, one thing about Christmas, no, ma no matter uh, your financial standing or, or how much of money you have in the bank or who you are or who your parents are, uh, usually at Christmas, uh, we somehow uh, have a good Christmas and make the most of it, you know. Somehow something happens and uh, the best comes out of it. But I think, you know, uh, this Christmas will be like no other because Besides the COVID and everything of that, a lot of people's spirits have been dampened. And that's not only because of December, but that's because 
of the whole year uh, that has passed. You know, uh, many of us had plans, many of us had things that we want to accomplish, get jobs, study, whatever it is. But all of that was derailed, you know, guys. And, uh, you know, uh, this afternoon, the reason why I've come here on Christmas Eve on this live, uh, basically to encourage you that, you know, it's not the end. You know, tomorrow morning, a lot of us are going to wake, wake up and it's, it's not going to feel like Christmas. I know for me, certainly, it's not going to feel like a festive period. Uh, but guys, do not give up. You know, uh, this, this uh, specific year of Christmas takes me back to a few years ago where one Christmas, it was a very bad Christmas for us because uh, things were very tough at that point in time and in life. And uh, obviously, it's different circumstances now, but uh, I remember feeling uh, how I feel now back then. It's not about the money, it's nothing of that, but it's just about having that freedom in the festive season. And um, the way you're feeling, I feel the same way. And uh, as people are commenting, I'm broke now for Christmas. You know, guys, the thing about Christmas right now, as we know, it's derailed all of us. The festive season has been derailed. But what we have to look at is we have to forge ahead and look ahead from now. Uh, we have to look ahead to 2021. You know, uh, when you read the news and read what's going to happen in 2021, we're going to face a lot of what we are facing now in 2021 in terms of COVID and financial strains and all of those things. But you have to forge ahead because in this festive time, if you can't find some sort of light, next year you're going to burn out you know so basically guys what i'm saying to you is don't give up in this festive period you know find the silver lining in everything you know that's the one thing i've always been able to do be it the trading be it uh, um, uh, my personal status and all of those things find the silver lining right and and i like what jordan just said my, might not have money, but definitely not broke. Have a roof over your head. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Guys, if you've got a roof over your head, be thankful. If you've got a plate of food to eat on Christmas Day, be thankful. You know, if you've got family, guys, you know, I've lost family members during this COVID period. Last week, I buried three of my family members. I have three of my close family members passed away last week uh, due to COVID. And sorry, if you have all of these things like a roof over your head, family around you, a plate of food to eat, just that is your silver lining, guys. Be grateful for what you have. The little that you have, just be grateful. Just, uh, just, just be thankful to God for it. You know, uh, I don't want to take anything away from Christmas, but this is the time... Uh, you know, one thing I've realized in this period of time is that family is very important. You know, you may not have nothing. You, you probably, you can even be living on the streets, but as long as you've got your family with you, you know, uh, there's something when, with family that's, that's an important bond that will actually push you through. And guys, in this festive season, just spend time with the family. Love them. Give them your support. They will give you their support. And, um, and, and, just, and just cherish it, guys. Just cherish it. Just, just appreciate the little things and find, this, find the, the silver lining in things, guys. You know, uh, last week I had deaths in my family. Uh, I didn't let it derail me because I came to understanding that the COVID respects no person. The COVID doesn't respect money. It doesn't respect who you are. It doesn't respect where you live. It can take anybody away there's no filter for it there's nothing there's no gender there's no race there's no age it can take any person from you and that got me down for a bit but then i realized that we need to find the silver lining thank you darren thank you so much darren dix bro i really appreciate you happy festivities to you and the family as well bro I really appreciate you a lot thank you for coming on here bro thank you Guys, so yeah, you know, back to it, you, you, you have to find that silver lining. Like for me, uh, when I lost or, or was dealing with families and losing my loved ones, I, I, I looked at the 
at the silver lining where uh, I still have to have a few loved ones left uh, with me, you know. And uh, another thing is, you know, as I'm saying, a lot of people this year uh, are quite sad because they don't have new clothes to use for Christmas or all of those things. But guys, just do not lose hope because, you know, if you lose hope now in a time which is so precious and is and is so lively uh, as we as we usually know it to be, then if you can't find the silver lining, guys, now in 2021, you're going to not start off on a good slate or not start off in the right direction. You need to find the silver lining now and boost yourself because, guys, you know, um, everything else aside, real talk, 2021 is probably going to give us more challenges in terms of the COVID. There's probably going to be more heartache and pain, you know. And if you're not able to empower yourself now and find the silver lining, in 2021, you're just going to be totally derailed. And these past couple of days, guys, that's what I've been working on. I've been building up myself, building up my self-confidence, self-esteem, so that I can take 2021, no matter what it throws at you, no matter what it throws at me, no matter how tough things get, no matter how dark the situation may be, you can overcome it. But you have to be able to find the silver lining in this Christmas period, in this festivity, in this, in this, in this festive period as we may call it. You know, many people are calling it a festive period, but it's no, there's no festivities happening, you know. But guys, just find that silver lining and just spend time with the family. As I said, appreciate your family. Appreciate that you have food on the table. Appreciate that you have a roof over your head. Appreciate those finer things, guys. And like for me personally, in this Christmas period, I just want to spend time with my family. I just want to give them love, show them my support. You know, just have positive vibes. And I want to share this with you guys. Doing that costs you nothing. It doesn't cost you not even one rand. It doesn't even cost you, it doesn't even cost you 10 cents to just give positive energy and love people around you. Love your family around you, even if they did you wrong. Even if they spoke bad about you, even if they brought you down, I want you guys to forgive them in Christmas, the spirit of forgiveness. I want you to forgive them. I want you to let go of the past. I want you to look again ahead and just love them. You know, a lot of us, I want to share this one more thing. A lot of us want to be sad and uh, want to uh, want to be all down and out when we lose a loved one. But guys, you must show that love to your loved one when they are alive, right? Show it to them when they are alive. So your parents, your grandparents, your, your siblings, love them when they are alive, guys. Give them the best when they are alive. Empower them when they are alive. Support them when they are li- alive. Don't do it when they're gone. And that's one thing I realized. Don't, don't, there's no use crying for people when they're in the casket um, and they're dead and gone. That's real talk. You better love them when they are alive. Give them what you can. It may, you might not have money, but cherish them with support. Cherish them with positive thoughts. You know, create that atmosphere in the house. You know, a lot of you guys right now in, uh, in your house, there's probably so much of negativity where you just want to be locked up in your room. I'm sure many of you are facing that right now. You know, but just go and light up your house. Light up the room with positive energy. It costs nothing to say to your mom or dad that you love them. It costs nothing to say to your siblings or your grandparents that you love them. It costs nothing, guys. And that's what I'm trying to bring uh, uh, upon you guys today. And the point I'm trying to make, just be radiant and share the aroma of love and forgiveness. If they did you wrong, just forgive them. Life is too short, guys. Life is too short. When you go to meet your maker, you're not taking your money. You're not taking your clothes. You're not taking all of your fancy things. You're not taking your Ferrari. You're not taking your Lamborghini. You're not taking any of that. You know, but what you can do right now is love 
those around you. So guys, that's what I wanted to leave with you. I felt that I should just share this with you guys on this Christmas Eve. You know, um, if you can just adopt this one thing, just, just, just share and just be radiant. Just light up your family's Christmas. You know, it costs nothing to do this, guys. You don't have to buy them presents. You don't have to do all fancy things. Just give them love. Tell them you love them. Tell them, tell them they look good. Tell them that, tell them, speak positive things. Tell them that things will be all right. Everything will be okay. Guys, so I want to leave this with you. I've got to run now. I'm actually, uh, have, I have family coming over now. Just going to spend time with the family. You do that too. And remember something, guys. People may have done you wrong, but you can't take those negative done me wrong things into 2020. It's time to forgive. You don't have to forget it, but just forgive and love them. Show them love. Kill them with love. Forgive them and move into 2021 with power. And that's what we're going to do. We are moving into 2021 with power into 2021 wood power. So guys, Merry Christmas uh, from myself, from Dizelle, from my family to your family. We love you. We appreciate the support. I appreciate the kind words. And guys, once again, Merry Christmas. So have a blessed afternoon. Have a blessed day tomorrow. And just stay safe, guys. Social distance, but spend time with the family. Love them, cherish them, and have and emit good vibes but also social distance, wear your mask and follow all of the protocols. Guys, stay safe, stay blessed. J Money, I'm out until we meet again. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you.